Well, one of the biggest games in Canadian soccer history is set to take place tonight with the Canadian men's national team taking on the World Cup champions Argentina for the second time in three weeks. But this time, if they win, they have a spot in the Copa America Finals, one of the most prestigious soccer tournaments in the world. All right, let's bring in Mackenzie Gray, who's in New Jersey. Very tough gig, Mackenzie. My goodness. Uh, this is uh, your outside MetLife Stadium. This is where the match will take place. First of all, how are you feeling going into tonight? Oh, you've got to feel good. And, and the Canadian men's national team is feeling good, too. We've heard from Coach Jesse March. This is the first huge game that he's had. He's only been in the job two months. And now he's in a Copa America semifinal going up against Argentina for the second time. I was actually at the game in Atlanta three weeks ago. It was the first game of the Copa America. Canada lost 2 nothing. That doesn't really tell the full story about the game. They had numerous chances they didn't take. And to be fair, Argentina also had numerous chances they didn't take. Maxime Crapo stood on his head. And it will likely need to be a similar performance from Crapo, the Canadian keeper tonight, to be able to get a result and find Canada in the final. And every game, basically, Canada has played here, despite the tournament being hosted in the U.S., is essentially an away game. We saw yesterday in Times Square thousands of Argentinian fans dancing in Times Square. We've seen tons around here uh, outside the stadium yesterday when we were here in New Jersey. Even Canadians that we met, Anthony, in our hotel last night came down from Milton to cheer on Messi, not on Canada. But there will be thousands of Canadians fans here. But despite that, there's 82,500 seats in here. I would expect there's going to be about 80,000 Argentinians tonight. So it's not just Canada going up against the world's number one ranked team, the World Cup champions, the 16-time Copa America winning Argentinian side, but also a boatload of Argentinian fans who will be here in New Jersey later tonight. We'll talk about that hill to climb for Canada because 48th ranked in the world uh, going into the tournament and going up against the World Cup champions and the Copa America defending champions and, of course, Leo Messi. I mean, they didn't close the deal last time entirely. They've only scored twice in this tournament so far. Can they do it tonight? Well, that's the number one thing we need to watch for. Canada's had a boatload of chances across all the games that they played but they have not been clinical in front of that. Jonathan David, one of the top strikers in France, all the big teams in Europe are apparently sniffing around on him to sign him. He needs to have probably his best game in a Canada shirt tonight. Kyle Lahren, another striker up front for Canada. He's the all-time leading goal scorer. He has not had a good tournament. If he even gets on the field tonight, he will need to play well too. And people worry about Leo Messi. Well, Canada has their own Messi, the Maritime Messi, Jacob Schaffelberg. He's been Canada's best player throughout this tournament. The pace that he brings down the left-hand side will be critical for Canada tonight. We saw this in the first game between Canada and Argentina. Argentina is an older team. It is going to be hot here. Even tonight at 8 p.m. when the game is supposed to be, we're likely in the high 20s or 30s with some humidity today. That pace that Canada has as a younger, more athletic team over Argentina they're going to need to use that if they're going to be able to get by Messi in Argentina. And Messi's health is also the thing, too. We've heard from the Argentinian coach yesterday saying, oh, no, don't worry, he's fine. But he certainly did not look at his best against their quarterfinal matchup against Ecuador. He was limping around. He seems to have a hamstring problem. But the quality that Messi has means that he could walk around the pitch most of the night, spray a couple passes, and that could be all she wrote for Canada. So they will need to do a better job guarding Messi. He had two breakaways in the Argentina game. Crepo had great saves against him, but he still had two assists in a game where he would admit that he did not play his best. Canada will need to do much better tonight against Messi if they want to be able to get a result. And even if they go to penalties too, Anthony, mm -hmm. the keeper for Argentina, Martinez, he won the best goalkeeper at the World Cup for a reason. When they go to penalty shootouts, he has a 50% save percentage. That's that is unheard standard. of in the penalty shootouts. So it's a tough hill to climb for Canada, even if they can get it to penalties, which would be an excellent result for them. Yeah, you mentioned David Schaffelberg, the pride of Port Williams, Nova Scotia. So he's going to be fun to watch tonight. Real quick, we don't have a lot of time, but what do you think, win or lose, what does this mean for Canada soccer? It's huge. There's a lot of money on my stake here, too, for the Canada Soccer Association. The Canadian team will get $8 million. It gets spread between the both men's and women's team. But the Federation, at certain points, has talked about being broke. This money will definitely help them. I talked to Kevin Blue yesterday. He's the CEO, uh, the general secretary, I should say, of Canada Soccer Association. He's saying, look, we need to have strong results on the pitch to be able to deal with our issues off the pitch. Getting to the semifinals is certainly a great opportunity. And regardless of what happens tonight, there's still a third-place game. So Canada will play the maximum of six games here at the Copa America against top teams. That's huge for them heading into the World Cup, which will be in part in Canada in 2026.
That's just it, right? So the Final Four, a huge achievement and looking ahead already to the World Cup, uh, which is coming up uh, in a couple of years. Look, we appreciate this. Enjoy tonight. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. This is Mackenzie Gray in East Rutherford, New Jersey, outside MetLife Stadium. Of course, this is where Canada will take on Argentina and hopefully win going to the final. All right, good stuff. Thank you again.